Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you a detailed solution on how to evaluate trigonometric functions with special angles. As you can see in the given figure, we have angles 0 degree, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. And on this side, we are going to have sine theta. On the other side, we have cosine theta and we are going to use the general equation square root of x over 2. To find the value of the 6 trigonometric function with special angles, we are just simply count the number of fingers between the given angles and the given trigonometric function. So let's start and let's evaluate trigonometric functions with special angles. On the first set of example, we are going to find the value of sine 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90 degrees using the equation square root of x over 2. On number 1, we have sine 0. To find the value of sine 0, we just simply count the number of finger between the given angle and to the given trigonometric function. As you can see, there is no finger between 0 degree and sine theta. Therefore, sine 0 is square root of x over 2. And the value of x is 0 because there is no finger between 0 and sine over 2. That means square root of 0, that is 0 over 2. 0 over 2, that is 0. Therefore, sine 0 degree is 0. Then, sine 30, so this is sine 30, and there is, a, there is one finger between 30 and sine. That means the value of x is 1. So square root of 1 over 2, that is one half. Sine 30 degrees is one half. What about sine 45? Sine 45, there are two fingers between 45 and sine, that is one, two. So square root of two over two. So this will be the answer. What about sine 60 degrees? So let us count the number of fingers between 60 degrees and sine. There is one, two, three. Therefore, sine 60 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. What about sine 90? Let us count the fingers between 90 degrees and sine. 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, we have square root of 4 over 2. Square root of 4, that is 2 over 2. So 2 divided by 2, that is 1. So sine 90 degrees is 1. On the second set of example, we are going to find the value of cosine 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90 degrees using the equation square root of x over 2. Now, what is the value of cosine 0? So to find the value of cosine 0, we are just simply count the number of fingers between the given angle and to the given trigonometric function. So this time, the given trigonometric function is cosine. And our given is 0 degree. We just simply count the number of fingers between 0 degree and cosine. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there are 4 fingers. And let us use the equation square root of x over 2. The value of x is square root of 4 over 2. Square root of 4 is 2 over 2. 2 divided by 2, that is 1. That means cosine 0 degree is 1. What about 30 degrees? So we have 1, 2, 3. Cosine 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. How about 45 degrees? Let us count the number of fingers between 45 degrees and cosine. That is 1, 2. That means cosine 45 is square root of 2 over 2. What about cosine 60? So this is cosine 60 and this is cosine. So let us count the number of fingers between 60 and cosine. That means we have square root of 1 over 2. That is 1 half. What about cosine 90? So this is 90 degrees and this is cosine. As you can see, there is no finger between 90 and cosine. That means 0, square root of 0 over 2 or simply 0.
On the third set of example, we are going to find the value of tangent 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90 degrees using the equation square root of x over 2. We all know that tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. If you have tangent 0, that means tangent 0 is equal to sine 0 over cosine 0. Sine 0, that is 0. And cosine 0, that is 1. So 0 over 1, that is 0. Therefore, tangent 0 degrees is 0. What about tangent 30? Tangent 30 is sine 30 over cosine 30. Sine 30, that is 1 half. Divide by cosine 30, that is square root of 3 over 2. So let us cancel this one. Let us have 1 over square root of 3. And let us rationalize by multiplying the numerator and denominator by square root of 3. So 1 times square root of 3, that is square root of 3, over square root of 3 times square root of 3, that is square root of 9. Square root of 9, that is 3. That means tangent 30 is square root of 3 over 3. What about tangent 45? Tangent 45 degrees is equal to sine 45 degrees over cosine 45 degrees degrees. Sine 45 degrees, that is square root of 2 over 2. Cosine 45, that is square root of 2 over 2. Square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2, that is 1. So cosine 45 degrees is 1. What about tangent 60? Tangent 60 is sine 60 degrees over cosine 60 degrees. Sine 60 degrees, that is square root of 3 over 2. Cosine 60, that is 1 half. Let us cancel. So we are going to have square root of 3 over 1. Square root of 3 over 1, that is square root of 3. So this will be the value of tangent 60 degrees. What about tangent 90? Tangent 90 is sine 90 degrees over cosine 90 degrees. Sine 90 degrees, that is 1. Cosine 90 degrees, that is 0. So 1 divided by 0, that is undefined. So this will be the answer. On the next set of example, we are going to find the value of cosecant 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90 using the same equation, square root of x over 2. We all know that the reciprocal of sine is cosecant. Therefore, cosecant theta is equal to 1 over sine theta. Now, let us have the value of cosecant 0 degree. Cosecant 0 degree is 1 over sine 0 degree. So let us find the value of sine 0, that is 1, over sine 0, that is 0. That means cosecant 0 degrees is undefined. What about cosecant 30? Cosecant 30 is equal to 1 over sine 30 degrees. So let us have 1 over sine 30, that is 1 half. And then, 1 divided by 1 half, let us multiply this 1. 1 times 2, that is 2. Over 1, that is 2. So, cosecant 30 degrees is 2. What about cosecant 45? Cosecant 45, that is 1. Over sine 45, that is square root of 2. Over 2. So, let us multiply. So, 1 times 2, that is 2. Over square root of 2. And then, let us rationalize. Let us multiply the numerator and denominator by square root of 2. So let's have 2 times square root of 2, that is 
2 square root of 2 over square root of 2 times square root of 2 that is square root of 4. Square root of 4 is 2. Let us cancel. Cosecant 45 is square root of 2. What about cosecant 60? Cosecant 60 is equal to 1 over sine 60 that is square root of 3 over 2. So let us multiply 1 and 2. That is 2 over square root of 3. And then let us rationalize by multiplying the numerator and denominator by square root of 3. So we are going to have 2 times square root of 3, that is 2, square root of 3. Square root of 3 times square root of 3, that is square root of 9. Square root of 9 is 3. So the value of cosecant 60 degrees is 2 square root of 3 over 3. What about number 20? Cosecant 90 degrees. So that is 1 over cosecant 90 degrees is equal to 1 over sine 90. Sine 90 is 1. So 1 divided by 1 is 1. So cosecant 90 degrees is 1. On this set of example, we are going to find the value of second 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90 degrees using the equation square root of x over 2. We all know that second is the opposite of cosine. That means second theta equals to 1 over cosine theta. Now, let us find the value of second 0 degree. Second 0, that is 1 over cosine 0. So let us write 1 over cosine 0, that is 1. So 1 divided by 1 is 1. Therefore, second 0 degrees is 1. Now, what about the value of second 30? Second 30 is 1 over cosine 30 degrees. So we are going to have 1 over cosine 30 degrees, that is square root of 3 over 2. So let's multiply 1 and 2, and we are going to have 2 over square root of 3. So let us rationalize by eliminating the radical sign. Let's multiply the numerator and denominator by square root of 3. 2 times square root of 3, that is 2 square root of 3. Divide by square root of 3 times square root of 3, that is square root of 9. Square root of 9 is 3. So this will be the answer. What about second 45 degrees? Second 45 degrees, that is 1 over cosine 45, that is square root of 2 over 2. So let us divide. Let's multiply 1 and 2. That is 2 over square root of 2. And then let us multiply the numerator and denominator by square root of 2 to eliminate the radical sign on the denominator. 2 times square root of 2, that is 2 square root of 2. Then, square root of 2 times square root of 2, that is square root of 4. Square root of 4 is 2. So let's cancel. Second 45 degrees is square root of 2. Second 60 degrees. Second 60 degrees, that is 1 over cosine 60, that is 1 half. 1 divided by 1 half, that is so second 60 degrees is 2. What about second 90 degrees? Second 90 degrees, that is 1 over cosine 90. Cosine 90 is 0. That means 1 divided by 0 is undefined. So this will be the answer. On the last set of example, we are going to find the value of cotangent 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90 degrees using the same equation square root of x over 2. We all know that cotangent theta is equal to cosine theta over sine theta. So if you have 0 degrees on cotangent, that is cosine 0 over sine 0. Cosine 0, that is 1. Sine 0 that is 0. That means 1 divided by 0, that is undefined. So cotangent 0 is undefined. 
What about cotangent 30? Cotangent 30 degrees is cosine 30 degrees over sine 30 degrees. Cosine 30 degrees, that is the square root of 3 over 2. Sine 30 degrees is 1 half. Let us cancel this one. Square root of 3 over 1. Square root of 3 over 1, that is square root of 3. So this will be the answer. How about cotangent 45? Cotangent 45 is cosine 45 over sine 45 degrees. Cosine 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. Sine 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. Square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2, that is 1. What about cotangent 60 degrees? Cotangent 60 degrees is cosine 60 degrees over sine 60 degrees. Cosine 60 degrees, that is 1 half. Sine 60 degrees, that is square root of 3 over 2. Let us cancel 2. And we are going to have 1 over square root of 3. Let us rationalize by multiplying the numerator and denominator by square root of 3. So 1 times square root of 3, that is 1 square root of 3 or square root of 3. Square root of 3 times square root of 3, that is square root of 9. Or square root of 9, that is 3. So this will be the answer. And then, cotangent 90. Cotangent 90 is cosine 90 over sine 90. Cosine 90, that is 0. Sine 90, that is 1. 0 divided by 1, that is 0. That means cotangent 90 degrees is 0. I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.